Hey, hello everybody. My name is Lisa Bradley and I'm a senior sales director with Mary Kay. And so I am just wanted to, I'm coming to you today um, to maybe give you some hope or maybe your, your consultant ask you to watch this video and just we want to thank you from the bottom of a grateful heart for your time. And my purpose today is to give you a new perspective on um, pandemic versus possibilities, um, pivot versus problem, um, and and that we get to see our current situation where we're living today um, as an opportunity. So right now, while I'm recording this video, we are still shelter at home, and um, and so. How are you viewing our current situation? All right, because we all have a choice. We don't get to choose our circumstances, but we do get to choose how we react to our circumstances. You see, we can be a victor or we can be a victim. Um, we can be positive or we can be pitiful. We can be empowered or we can be disempowered and taken out, all right? My my prayer is that I share something with you today that will have you think a new thought, to take a new action, to create something new in your life. So I'm going to just first share with you a little bit about me and my Mary Kay story. And I'm going to share with you some of the gifts that I have personally received from this business opportunity. And then I'm going to give you a little bit of information as far as um, what's actually happening in the world. And, um, and then you're going to fill out a little survey or reach out to your consultant and um, give her your honest feedback, because that's what we would, what we would love to hear is what did what was your pearl what was your nugget what was your takeaway from today so let me just um, introduce myself and well first I'm going to introduce Mary Kay because I um, I was a Mary Kay snob I thought anybody who sold Mary Kay had super big hair wore bright blue eye color and they couldn't get a real job I thought anybody who um, used Mary Kay was my grandmother's grandmother. And so I didn't know anything about our company. And I will tell you, I am so proud, so proud of our company. Why am I proud of our company? Because Mary Kay created this company 56 years ago and she opened the door with nine beauty consultants. And today we're in over 35 countries. 35 countries. We are a family owned, totally debt free, $4 billion debt free company. How amazing is that? And so she started with a dream in her heart to give women an open ended, unlimited opportunity for advancement for financial um, stability to be able to um, to be able to have a career and to be able to live and do our life with God first, family second, career third, we praise people to success and we follow the golden rule to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And I absolutely fell in love with those that with with that um, philosophy. And our mission statement is to enrich lives. So a couple of things that Mary Kay is doing right now that I am very proud of, and I just want to share with you is um well, for the pandemic, um, we actually, the, the the government actually came to Mary Kay and asked if we could make hand sanitizers. And so I um, am so proud from, from one week from when we were asked to make hand sanitizers until we went into production was one week, like unprecedented. And then that, that went into production on May the 1st. And by May the, uh, uh, excuse me, April the 1st, and by April the 4th, we we actually had hand sanitizers into frontline responders, into, into fire departments, into police departments, into hospitals and medical staffs. And thank you, Mary Kay. And so our government has deemed Mary Kay an essential business. I am so proud of our company, because we have our own manufacturing plant in Dallas, Texas. And so it's a brand new state of the art manufacturing plant where we have our own R&D. Um, we do our own R&D research and development. We have we go, have our own, uh, 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 you know, our own manufacturing plant. Yes, 
That's what I'm trying to say. And then we have our Pink Changing Lives and our Pink Doing Green initiative. So in our Pink Changing Lives initiative, we support two causes, and that is for cancer research for women's cancers and, to, and domestic violence. And so to date, we have donated over $28 million to, um, to, for cancer research for that, uh, for cancer research for cancers that affect women, and over $50 million to end domestic violence. We also have a pink um, doing green initiative. And so at our at our manufacturing plant, we have 0% landfill, we're LEED certified. And we have, um, and all of the little packing peanuts that come in our boxes are um, made out of some kind of little potato uh, starch, corn starchy kind of ingredient. I'm not really sure the technical term. But what I do know is we put them in our sink, but we get them, we turn on the water, and they dissolve and go down the sink. And so I love that we just finished um, a, a corporate recycling uh, program that we partnered with the Arbor, the Arbor Foundation, and we have planted 1 million trees that have been lost through natural disasters and forest fires. So those are just a little things about what we do as a company, and we have a heart. And so I love, love, love that. Um, all right, so that's Mary Kay. And so what a little bit about me. Well, once again, my name is Lisa, and I have been um, building my Mary Kay business for 23 years. And when Mary Kay found me, I was one of, I think, the least likely people to become, become to begin a Mary Kay business. So first, um, I came from corporate America. I have an engineering degree. I um, had always worked with men. I did not like women. I had a super small circle like a, of about five people that I inherited from my husband's circle because my company had transferred me to San Antonio. And we and and we had no family. We had no family living in San Antonio. So one of the things that could have held me back was that I had a very small circle. Number two, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't have any friends. Number three, um, I did not know how to run a business. I had been very successful in my corporate uh, career, but I did not, I had never run a business and, and I didn't, so, so I didn't have that, uh, that entire skill set. But what I did have, but what I did have was I was willing to learn. I was capable and I was available. So if you're watching this and you're going, you know what, I don't know how to run a business. So my questions to you are, are you willing? Are you available? And are you capable? Because if you are, you can, you can, you can, you can um, have a home-based business. All right. Now, um, so I stepped into Mary Kay 23 years ago. I'd walked out of my corporate job where I made a six figure income, but I was working about 50 or 60 hours a week. And so my husband and I made a decision. I would quit to stay home and raise our children. And by doing that, I've been home about 18 months. Well, I love my kids. I love my husband. I love my family. However, I had always worked. And so I enjoy working. And so I find satisfaction. I believe work is godly. You know, what we do to put our hands to, the Lord will bless. And so I I love that. Um, I love that. And so, but I, I wanted to work for myself. I didn't want to work for someone else and to be able to, for them to buy homes and boats and cars. I wanted to be able to build a financial, um, a financial portfolio for my family while not sacrificing my family. So when Mary Kay was introduced to me, our daughter was 18 months old, our son was three and a half. And so I, I would, um, I began my Mary Kay business to be a stay at, to be a stay at home, work from home mama, to be my own boss, to set my own hours, to have freedom, to have flexibility, and to be able to generate an executive income. And in the beginning, God, hey, I just wanted some shoe money and some sh some shoe money because I had always had my own money and now I, my husband was working and I was not and I did not want to go asking for shoe money, okay? So I'm a very independent woman and so I wanted that extra side hustle. And maybe you're looking at a side hustle. Um, right now, I'm going to give you all some statistics because we... Um, 
you know, we're right in the middle of a, a pandemic. So I'm not sure when you're watching this, but you could be, we're still quarantined at home or you could be after the fact. And so I'm going to give you some, some statistics uh, about where we are as a country. And before I do that, I want to just give you a food for thought. So we have right now, you have an opportunity. I have an opportunity. We all have an opportunity. Are we going to pivot during this pandemic? And, and are we going to come out? Um, uh, how are we going to come out? Because we are all facing the, the, the situation, but it's our view and our thinking that's going to dictate how we emerge from this situation. So we have a choice. Are you going to be powerful? Are you going to adapt? Are you going to embrace? Are you going to change? Or are you just going to dig your heels in and, and, and stay where you are? And I'm going to tell you something, you're not staying where you are, because you're either going forward are you're sliding backwards. There's no staying still. So I'm just going to illuminate that during um, during our history, we've had different uh, things that have happened or, or, or companies that have adapted and companies that haven't adapted. And so I'm just going to really just kind of share with you a little bit like Blockbuster is an example. So we used to all, and if you're you're young, you might not even know this, but we would go to the movie store. We would um, we would go in. They had all the movies on the, uh, on the wall. We'd pick out the movie, and then we would uh, stand in line, and we would um, pay, pay for the movie. And then if we turned it in late, we would get a late fee, or if we turned it in late, it wasn't rewound. It's so crazy. And so Netflix came on board, right? Netflix. And so what did Netflix do? Um, they said, okay, we're going to do streaming. You're going to get to watch movies in your home. And Blockbuster was like, no, 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 that's not ever going to work. Well, guess what? They didn't adapt. Okay. So who's here today? Netflix is. Blockbuster is not. So my question to you while you're watching this, are you willing to adapt? Are you willing to do something different? Um, I want you to know that Dave Ramsey, before before, before the coronavirus, um, I'm going to give you some, some stats because now where we are today is probably even crazier than it was. So before the coronavirus, according to Dave Ramsey, 70%, 70% of America was living paycheck to paycheck. Oh my gosh. Eight out of 10 households on your block had too much month at the end of their money, which means they probably had some credit card debt going on. 39% of household could not cover a $400 emergency. And um, those were the statistics about uh, the corner before um, those were statistics before the coronavirus. And so now, you know, we're, we're probably heading into some really tough times and we are in some tough times. I mean, there are people that have lost their jobs. There are people that, um, that, that, you know, as a country is opening up, what will open up? Well, what will not? I don't know. And um, so I want you to look as, you know, if you're looking at the consumer index, um, typically in a recession, people will cut back on spending in different areas. All right. But here's what I do know. Three things are recession proof. And these are, I feel good. So alcohol, tobacco, and cosmetics are recession proof. I've been in Mary Kay 23 years. I've been through um, when we had the setbacks in through 9-11. I've been when we had the um, recession in 2008. And so I've seen this. But what happens is we have a consumable product. As women are, are not going to uh, not going to give up on their their skincare routine we're not going to give up on our color our hair our nails we're going to just continue um because it's it's a it's a um it's a consumable product um it is a product that is that it makes us feel good if you look at there's articles all over during this pandemic about um it's all about self-love and how do we feel better while we're sheltering at home so people may not be able to go out and buy a house right 
People may not be able to go out and buy a car, but they can go out and buy a lipstick or, or put on a pampering mask and help them feel better or connect with their family via technology. So I love that. And so I want you to think this thought. The Consumer Index tells us, tells us it's typically six months before we even know that a recession began. And what that means is it's six months after there are no jobs that um, that there really are no that they, that like there really are no jobs. So right now um, we have an unprecedented opportunity. I'm going to share with you in just a second about how we uh, build a business in Mary Kay, and uh, like I said, some of the gifts. But what I really want to know is that our business opportunity is really this. It, it's really a viable financial opportunity that could bless your family and change your life and make a difference for your circumstances. We as women know we love stability. And I want you to know there that it's been um, the statistic or, or the, 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 the projection is over the next five years, Okay, so so for, so first off, let's see where we are today with a side hustle, right? A side hustle. So today, a side hustle. Um, so a day, today, a side hustle that over forty three percent of the households have a side hustle, even though they may have a great income. Forty three percent have a side hustle, and it's projected that over the next five years, seventy nine million will enter into some form of self-employment or a side hustle. So I'm going to ask you today, why not Mary Kay? So I'm going to share with you some of the gifts that I have personally found out of my Mary Kay opportunity. So the first one that I love was the mentorship. All right. I already shared with you. I didn't know how to, I did not know how to operate, you know, run a business, didn't know how to be self-employed, but I was willing, teachable, available, and coachable. And so I love that we, you have a business mentor that is assigned to your success in Mary Kay. Okay. I love the personal female relationships. I shared with you that I had no friends when I came into Mary Kay. Well, I was a very broken woman, a very broken woman, and I had very low self-esteem and I didn't even know it. I was very confident, but that self-confidence was a cover up for how I viewed myself. And so I didn't have any relationships with women because of my personal view. And I love that God plopped me in this company and through his grace and provision in my Mary Kay mentorship that and the, the, the relationships that I have, that I have so many amazing, godly, big thinking, visionary friend. It's like a tribe of women, a pink, powerful tribe uh, of women helping women. I know in my corporate job, if someone had an idea, you didn't want to share it because they might steal it. But in Mary Kay, we're totally different. It's I have an idea, you have an idea, we're going to share our ideas, and then we're going to be better together better together. I love, 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 love that. I love in Mary Kay, we can be 18 or we can be 80. We can be pink. We can be purple. We can have, uh, we don't, we can have not even a high school education. We can have a GED. We can have a high school education. We can have a college education. We can have a doctorate. We could be anywhere in between and you can be successful in our company as long as you're willing to dream big dreams, put the work and effort behind your dreams, and they will become a reality. I love that I get to own my own business, like I sh shared before, and that I'm not, um, you know, I'm not told by the mood of the dude who hired me how much I can make, when I have to work. And so I love this, the flexibility that, okay, so today our children are. 25 and 27. Our son lives in Atlanta and he's engaged. And our daughter is finishing up her doctorate of physical therapy and will do that and take her boards this summer. And so I love that. And she lives in Dallas. And so and my, my husband's family lives all over. My my parents um, live, you know, in South Texas. And so my mom is not is going through massive health challenges. And so I get to design my life I've always designed my life around my my family. So when the kids were little, they were I was able to be home with mom when they when and I was able to be involved in all of their sports. Now we can travel whenever we want. And then I can go travel. And as soon as this 
pandemic has li lifted. And I go uh, several times a month to help my dad take care of my mom. And I can do that weekly if I want. And I don't have to ask anybody. I love that. I get to serve my family. I love that. I shared with you that we have a global response, a global responsibility of our pink doing green and pink changing lives. I love my greatest gift out of the starter kit is me that I can, um, that, you know, for who I am today. And so my personal mission is to have women be emotionally healthy, spiritually strong, financially secure, and to live lives of abundance and joy. And then lastly is the multiple streams of income. So I just want to share with you right now, just take a couple more minutes, um, how we make our money. So um, so we we make our money by sharing uh, this incredible product. And so we have a 50%, we have the highest, um, pr the highest commission paid in the direct sales industry. We buy our product for a dollar, we sell it for two, we double our money. And guess what? We have no auto ships, we have no territories, and we have no quotas. So, you know, you can, um, you can be anywhere on the, the, you can be anywhere you want to be. So if you wanted to be a savvy shopper, you can be a savvy shopper. If you want to have a um, side hustle, you can have a side hustle. I just shared with you that there's going to be 79 million people entering into the um, side hustle business over the next five years. So my question is, why not Mary Kay? Because we have a recession proof product and we have a, a company that's built on a 56 year platform. So we also have residual income and we retain 80 to 85 percent of all of our customers and so i love 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 that and so we get to build friends and family and collect people all along the all along our journey so that is so amazing that's so cool i love 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 that and then we have the ability to share the opportunity and to build a team and why do i love building a team because guess what I get to help women change lives. I get to be, I get to help women run alongside of them and help them have whatever they want out of this business. So maybe it's fun, maybe it's freedom, maybe it's flexibility, maybe it's money, maybe it's um, just being connected, maybe it's a tax deduction. I don't know, but I love that. And so you, and you can, you can have, you can sell the product, you can build a team. And today, oh my gosh, we have an e-commerce business and how, amazing is that that we have now shifted into that we can work our business virtually i love that we've never been i don't feel like i've ever been at a better place at a better time in all of my career and then we have a leadership uh, well, oh we also have the car program and so you can earn the use of a, of a car. So I just want to share with you really quickly um, what would happen if you did not have a car payment. So our first car that you earn is a Chevy Malibu and you can do that ha having a side hustle. Okay. And we say a side hustle is, is, is um, you know, you can be holding a couple of parties, beauty experiences, virtual uh, parties a week. Um, and, you know, so 15 to 20 hours a week. They said, Lisa, give me 15 to 20 hours a week and you can earn the use of your first car. So I just want you to know that in 23 years, I've driven free for over 21 years and have not had a car payment. What would that do for your family? So let me just put it into some financial, some financial terms is if you did not have a car payment, and in our, um, our, in, we can take a cash. Mary Kay pays 85% of the insurance, about 85% of the insurance, the tax, the title, and the license. And so if you did not have a car payment in 48 months, that, and you took the cash compensation, or you drove a free car and you, um, put that for, you put your car payment into the bank, at the end of four years, you would have $20,400 in the bank. So what would that pay for? That could pay for one college education for one child. That could pay for a family vacation for years. That could pay for a down payment of a home. That could help you pay off um, debt. And it could be a nice retirement. So that is one of our income streams. And then the last income stream we have is leadership. And we are the highest paid women in America. And so everybody has the ability to promote themselves in the top uh, one to 2% in the company because we, we, like I said, it's it, everybody, we all start the same way. We purchase a starter kit, we purchase an e-start, we get started, and then we um, have a business coach, a business mentor, and then we go to work. But you know what? Every day I go to work, I go to a party.
And so I love that I get to gather women around a kitchen table. Jesus gathered women, people around and, and broke bread. We gather people around a kitchen table and we break open cleansers and we change lives. So with that, I hope you, I gave you an insight into the our Mary Kay Pink world. And I, I just uh, reach out to your consultant, share with her your aha, your, your pearls of nugget. And we want to thank you from the very bottom of a grateful heart for spending this time with us. May God bless you and richly um, just in, enhance and in, in, in enlarge your vision for what is possible. Because here is what I do know, that um, we were put on this earth, number one, for community. We were put on this earth to be a light. And I just pray that you would be open to new possibilities and that you would um, be um, willing to step out and just have the greatness that's there for you. May you have a beautiful, blessed day. Thank you for your time. And you go make today a million dollar day. So.